Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Uptown Eden. The Rockingham County Sheriff's Office has issued a wanted bulletin for Michael Laverne Murphy, 46, of Greensboro, considered armed and dangerous. He has a number of felony arrest warrants, including shooting at sheriff's deputies during a high-speed chase about 10 days ago. As first reported on Mike Moore Media, the chase started on U.S. 29 Bypass Reedsville around 11 p.m. when deputies spotted a 2006 GMC Sierra truck going south at around 100 miles per hour. The driver did not stop for blue lights and siren and around McWalker Road began firing at the deputies. Guilford County entered the pursuit at 29 near the 150 exit. The suspect vehicle came to an abrupt stop on O'Henry Boulevard and the driver jumped out. A gun was recovered. Anyone with information on Michael Laverne Murphy is urged to call 911 or Crime Stoppers 336-349-9683. Greensboro Police and Guilford County Sheriff's Office have additional arrest warrants. Murphy has a long record dating back to the early 1990s Charges include simple assault, affray, possession of drugs, receiving stolen goods, felony breaking and entering, and possession of a firearm by a felon. There's a statewide tornado drill this morning at 9.30, broadcast on NOAA Weather Radio and Emergency Alert System on radio and television as part of their required monthly test. It's an opportunity for schools, businesses, and government buildings to test their emergency plans. This is Severe Weather Preparedness Week in North Carolina. Former Stoneville Town Manager Kenneth Gamble, who left about two years ago for the same position in Denton, is making another job change next month. He'll become Town Manager in Moxville. Stoneville and Denton are about the same size, populations between 15 and 1,700. The population of Moxville in Davie County is 5,000. Arrests and citations from Eden Police, Donnell Corey Brown, Jr., 106 Greenwood Street, driving while impaired. Sam Hampton, 206 South Center Street, driving while impaired, misdemeanor child abuse and traffic offenses. Matthew Wayne Nicholson, 631 Fag Drive, carrying a concealed weapon and possession of marijuana. Jeffrey Eric Coleman, 728 Davis Street, resist, obstruct, delay, and assault on a government official. Stephen Ray Wood, Jr., 710 South Bethel Street, Possession and maintaining a vehicle with intent to sell and deliver marijuana. Other reports, assault, 635 Elm Street, and vehicle vandalisms, 220 West Kings Highway and 504 Moyer Street. In business news, Old Dominion Freight Lines in Thomasville is hiring. The non-union company needs 800 full-time truck drivers by June. Annual pay from $73,000 for delivery jobs to $99,000 for line haul positions. Personal customer service. Unfortunately, that's hard to find at a lot of businesses these days, but not at Lane's Family Pharmacy in Eden. I'll be stopping by Lane's today for several prescription refills, and whether I go inside or use the drive through I already know I'll be waited on promptly and by someone who's friendly and courteous. And I'm no exception. All Lane's customers get that same personal attention. And they bring that right to your front door with countywide delivery. Call 336-627-4600. 627-4600. Lane's appreciates you and your business. Lane's Family Pharmacy, Highway 14 Eden, 336-627-4600 for delivery countywide. Now, Rockingham County weather, sunny to mostly sunny. High today, Thursday and Friday, 74. Spring officially begins in 10 days. 
Saturday and Sunday, overcast, high in the low 60s, low around 40. Rain is in the forecast all next week, 40 to 60 percent chance. Try at record highs and lows on this day, 78 in 2016, 15 in 1932. Get current weather information anytime at mikemore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera. That's sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers. For year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away, 24 hours a day. Here's the number, 336-932-7478. Shop local at these Uptown Eden Merchants. Revived Vintage, across from David Price Auto Works. Perlina's Gift Baskets. The Roasted Bean. Sweet Revenge Bakery. Wagner Consulting, Black Sheep Boutique Quilt Company, The Workshop, Hive, Salon 209, Simply MK, Downtown Deli and Catering, Five Star Realty, House of Health, Sophisticated Rubbish, next to that little pork shop. Get your Uptown Eden Merchant Discount Card today and check out the new TV commercial on the Uptown Eden Facebook page. AutomotiveMap.com presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. ACC basketball on Tuesday. It was Duke with an 86-51 win over Boston College. Notre Dame knocked off Wake Forest 80-77. Miami 79-73 over Pittsburgh. Duke advancing to battle Louisville tonight at 6.30. Notre Dame will face the Tar Heels at 9 tonight. Earlier in the day, it'll be Miami taking on Clemson at 2.30. Things kicking off at noon with NC State squaring off with Syracuse. SEC tournament today, Texas A&M takes on Vanderbilt tomorrow. It'll be Kentucky battling Mississippi State. Georgia squared off with Missouri. Ole Miss tangles with South Carolina. Florida awaiting a winner. NHL on Tuesday in overtime. The Hurricanes 3-2 over the Predators. Jordan Stahl with the overtime winner. Carolina with six consecutive wins. Download the Score app today. Lightning fast updates so you never miss a thing. It's why the Score app is one of North America's most popular sports apps. That's the Sports Flash. Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. A reminder about Ferguson stump grinding in Eden. My friend Ben Ferguson has all the equipment for stump grinding, cleanup, and removal. An excavator, wow, this is great, to mow hard-to-reach places like ponds, hillsides, and ditches. Check out Ben's new website, fergusonstumpgrinding.com, for lots of pictures of recent jobs. Glad to recommend him to you. Now the community calendar Sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. This weekend, it's the NCC Outdoor Expo at Wright Memorial Event Center, Sladen Road, Eden. Saturday, March 13th, 8 to 8. Sunday, the 14th, 8 to 6. Buckmasters, Pope and Young, Turkey and Owl Calling Contest, Official Deer Scoring, Wildlife Displays, Outdoor Vendors, Food Trucks, Live Entertainment, Saturday Night, Whiskey Foxtrot will be playing. Get more information on the Wright Memorial Event Center Facebook page. Get tickets at eventbrite.com. New Highway Bluegrass Band will be playing at Sandy Ridge Community Center Saturday at 6. American Red Cross Blood Drive at Fountain of Youth, West Academy Street, Madison. Thursday, March 18th, 2.30 till 7. Registration open now for youth basketball, baseball, and softball at Reedsville Parks and Recreation for ages 4 to 17. Tennis at Western Rockingham YMCA in Mayadan, March 23rd, 24th, 30th, and 31st. 5 to 6.30 for juniors, age 7 to 13, 6.30 to 8. For adults, $40. That includes six hours of instruction, free racket and tennis gift, limited to a dozen players. Register at trytennis.net. The annual countywide food drive is underway now through April 30th. Look for boxes all over the county assisting seven local agencies with feeding those in need. 
Visit rkcfooddrive.org to see how you can help. If you have an event for the community calendar, text it to 336-932-1881 or email it to rockinghamcountync at gmail.com. The grand opening continues at Dove Medical Supply in Madison, featuring sale prices on equipment and home health care items. Dove Medical Supply has all-natural CBD products from Purity Labs, North Carolina-grown hemp. It's worth a trip to learn about the many benefits of CBD for all ages, including depression, anxiety, and pain relief. Register for grand opening giveaways to rollators, lift chair, and 20 canes. No purchase needed. Winners announced March 31st. Dove Medical Supply in Madison Shopping Plaza between Roses and Tractor Supply. It's a store for all stages of life. Now today's consumer report. If you're using Microsoft Exchange, make sure you apply any emergency patches that are sent your way. The company is responding after security researchers warned that four zero-day vulnerabilities in Microsoft Exchange are now being used in widespread cyber attacks. Major car companies have committed to making only electric cars in the future, but the people who sell the cars have their doubts. The Wall Street Journal reports many dealers say consumers are not that interested in electric cars, citing their high cost, limited range, and lack of charging stations. Ford is recalling nearly 80,000 current model Super Duty trucks. The company says that during the manufacturing process, the windshield may not have been properly bonded to the vehicle. That could allow the windshield to detach from the vehicle in the event of a crash. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Today in history, March 10th, 1785, Thomas Jefferson was appointed minister to France, succeeding Benjamin Franklin. 1864, Ulysses S. Grant became commander of the Union armies in the Civil War. 1880, the Salvation Army arrived in the United States from England. And a thank you to their great, for their great work uh, right here in Rockingham County, for sure. It's National Blueberry Popover Day and National Pack Your Lunch Day. Well, you can include that in your lunch. Big name birthdays, Carrie Underwood, 38. Hunter Biden II, big on TikTok, 15. Chuck Norris, 81. Robin Thicke, 44. Sharon Stone, 63. Local birthdays are announced on our birthday club. And we have a weekly giveaway valued at about $100. Text those birthdays anytime to 336-932-1881. And a reminder, Daylight Saving Time begins this Sunday at 2 a.m. Set your clocks ahead one hour. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Tire Max. Carpino Investments, all about floors. RiseUpReedsville.com. Shop RockinghamCounty.com. Local obituaries are sponsored by these funeral homes, Boone and Cook, Colonial, Fair, Ray, Perry, Spencer. Posted on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media weekday mornings around 8.30. I'll be talking to Rockingham County Manager Lance Metzler this morning around 9.45. Let's finish with our motivational moment. Positive thoughts generate positive feelings and attract positive life experiences. Oh, that's good. Thanks for listening today. I certainly appreciate that. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. And I remind you, as always, be sure to count your blessings.